Alright guys, so today's video is actually gonna involve a Karen and a Hibachi. For those of you guys who aren't familiar with or really know anything about a Hibachi, it's basically where you go to the restaurant and they're cooking the food in front of the customer's face. To my knowledge, most of the time this is done with Asian cuisine. I've only ever been to one Hibachi in my life and it was actually on a resort in Mexico. So the Hibachi man was actually just this Mexican guy, he wasn't the traditional Asian. The main thing I need you guys to understand Understand is that when you go to this hibachi experience one of the main reasons you're going and the thing you're paying for is actually the entertainment from the hibachi man himself a lot of times he's up there telling jokes maybe shooting some oil into someone's mouth throwing a sushi roll into someone's mouth doing something like that I would say it's almost like when you go to the bar and they have a really talented bartender back there throwing around bottles and stuff like that, obviously trying to get extra tips. And so for the most part, everyone always loves the hibachi chef, but you know there always has to be that one Karen who wants to ruin the night for everyone and make everything extremely awkward. Hence the caption on this video, this lady made our dinner awkward. And just for real quick reference, this is the man that he's actually going to be talking to during this clip. Why that matters will make sense here in a second. This lady made our dinner awkward. Alright, so you got my man doing his thing, tossing it around, tossing it behind his back. Watch this, my bro. Oh. Okay. Now that was some cool shit. Alright, let's play that one back. That's not easy to do. <laughs> Alright, so pay attention to what he said right there. This man said Kobe and pointing at the sky, obviously showing his respect for the late, great Kobe Bryant. I feel like the whole throwing an object and saying Kobe thing kind of started when I was a kid. Like, for example, I got this piece of paper, right? Okay, I take it, I crumble it up. I shoot it in the trash can and say, Kobe. I mean, it just sounds so smooth. It sounds so cool. No one wants to say Curry or LeBron. It just don't sound cool. So the man is obviously just trying to show his respects. And here comes the Karen. Kobe. Black Mamba, man. R.I.P. You got bring the black man into this. Black man? And me? So that idiot obviously didn't understand that Black Mamba is Kobe's like most infamous nickname. She's like, oh, Kobe's black and now you said the word black, so you must be a racist, sir. And you know, this is probably my least favorite type of Karen who is trying to feel oppressed for somebody else. Like, yes, black people, I will be your white savior. And it's almost always exclusively white women doing this. Like Margaret, they're not asking to be saved. They're having a good time. They think the guy's entertaining. He's obviously trying to connect with them on more of a cultural basis. And there just always has to be that one dumb bitch. No, no, no. When you make a shot, you say Kobe, because that's Korean. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He has that's to explain it. Black Mamba, R.I.P. <laughs> like, getting it? Y'all getting it? I get it. I, I got it the first time. I got it. It's not insult or anything. He's like, do y'all get it? I am not a blatant racist. I'm just trying to entertain the public. Also, the fact that she looks like this kind of explains her whole attitude perfectly. I will never trust a woman who has an undercut. And see, part two is really kind of where he starts to go off on her more. You can dedicate it to me, you know what I'm saying? Let's bring it up. Yeah, talk your shit. I had enough, y'all. <laughs> Damn. He said, I'm coming with the receipts. Watch this. What do you see? That's a Kobe Bryant and Jesus. That is nice. Yeah, so there he's kind of just trying to say, hey, I'm such a big Kobe fan that I took the time out of my life to draw this picture to commemorate the death of him and his daughter Gigi. In other words, I'm really about this life. Don't try me, bitch. Yeah, yeah, y'all know me. Oh, I don't know. He's sitting over here, leave him alone. I don't know. Damn. Damn, so now this man is being sarcastic while roasting her ass. You know, he don't want anything to do with her nasty looking mug. I mean, I cook and clean, boo boo. 
Oh, he said, I'm ready for that husband smoke. I don't believe that this woman has a husband either. You know, now she's just grasping for straws. You know, if someone could truly fall in love with this, just wow. Bring him over this time, okay? Yeah, well, whenever he comes back, bring him over here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> my boy's going off. Now, I know my guy did not put that fried rice in the shape of a heart for that Karen bitch. This guy's on a whole nother level of trolling. And watch this. The heart is actually going to beat. That's awesome, bro. This is the type of stuff I want to see at the hibachi. La 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 do 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 yeah <laughs> you see this is the type of fun you're supposed to have at the hibachi i feel like i'm there with the family it's just hilarious guys you know everyone's having a good time everyone's laughing this guy's you know planning on getting a pretty good sized tip i'm sure pause and then you have this woman coming in trying to be offended for somebody else you know i feel like when you don't face enough challenges in life it's like you want to feel other people's oppression sometimes and a lot of times they're not even offended themselves this man was obviously trying to connect more like i said on a cultural basis trying to make his customers comfortable trying to make them have a good time and entertain them and like i said he got the dumb idiot out here ruining the show but let me know what you guys think about this down below when i first saw this clip i really couldn't believe it but as always i do want to thank you guys for watching make sure you go subscribe today i know a lot of you guys return to the channel every day but you're not subscribed and drop me a big like share it with a friend all that good stuff and as you guys know it's been your boy the tan superman and i'm out peace